In today's noisy and bustling world, anxiety has become a common occurrence, woven into the fabric of everyday life. However, amidst this chaos, ancient philosophers uncovered a timeless key to inner peace. Stoicism. Today, we embark on a special journey together, delving into the profound lessons of Stoicism to unlock the hidden power within ourselves. Stoic teachings are not merely ancient ideas. They offer a way of life that liberates us from anxiety and fear. They provide us with the tools to confront, accept, and ultimately overcome challenges that may appear insurmountable. Each lesson and story from Stoicism not only offers insight but also serves as a guiding light on our spiritual journey. Let us delve into the ancient texts of Stoicism, immersing ourselves in its wisdom. Together, we will embark on this journey to transform fear and anxiety into strength and inspiration. I urge you to commit to watching the entire video, ensuring that you do not miss any crucial lessons. Now, let's begin with the first lesson. Lesson number one, embracing a positive mindset. Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher known for his wisdom, once articulated a profound truth. It's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. These words serve as a timeless reminder that our reactions and perspectives shape our experiences far more than the events themselves. In essence, cultivating a positive mindset is about transcending external circumstances and fostering inner resilience. In our daily lives, we often find ourselves beset by worries and negative thoughts that hinder our progress towards our goals. However, Stoicism offers an alternative approach. It encourages us to adopt a positive outlook as a means to confront anxiety, improve our lives, and embrace reality with clarity and acceptance. Embracing positive thinking doesn't entail denying the existence of problems. Rather, it involves understanding and accepting them while maintaining an optimistic attitude. Central to Stoic philosophy is the notion that awareness plays a crucial role in developing a positive mindset. According to Stoic teachings, our emotions reflect our perceptions, yet we possess the ability to reshape our perspectives by distinguishing between events and our reactions to them. By exercising this cognitive separation, we gain agency over our responses, thereby reducing anxiety and reclaiming control over our lives. Moreover, practicing gratitude serves as a cornerstone of a fulfilling life. By acknowledging and appreciating the positive aspects of our existence, we train ourselves to perceive challenges as opportunities for growth. Consider the story of John, an office worker grappling with workplace difficulties. Instead of succumbing to despair, John chooses to view these challenges as catalysts for personal development. His resilience and gratitude pave the way for not only overcoming adversity, but also emerging stronger and more optimistic in his daily endeavors. Indeed, Stoicism affirms that we retain agency in every situation, empowering us to choose our responses deliberately. By prioritizing positivity, and fortifying our mental resilience, we can navigate life's trials with grace and confidence. It's imperative to recognize that cultivating a positive mindset is an ongoing journey, one that demands consistent effort and self-reflection. To foster a positive attitude, consider incorporating the following practices into your daily routine. Express gratitude. Take time each day to reflect on the things you're thankful for whether it's a beautiful sunrise, a delicious meal, or the companionship of loved ones. Keeping a gratitude journal can facilitate this practice and cultivate a deeper sense of appreciation. Stay present. Practice mindfulness by grounding yourself in the present moment, steering clear of dwelling on the past or fretting about the future. Cultivate mindfulness through activities like meditation, to enhance your ability to focus and remain centered amidst life's uncertainties. Challenge negative thoughts, become attuned to negative thought patterns, and actively counter them with affirming and realistic self-talk. Recognize that you possess the power to reframe your thoughts and emotions, thereby fostering a more optimistic outlook on life. Surround yourself with positivity, 
seek out supportive relationships, uplifting literature, and inspiring music that nourish your spirit. Minimize exposure to negativity, whether it's toxic environments or distressing news, to safeguard your mental well-being. Set achievable goals. Establish realistic objectives that align with your values and aspirations, celebrating your progress along the way. Break down larger goals into manageable tasks to prevent overwhelm and sustain motivation. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding, especially during moments of adversity or self-doubt. Embrace setbacks as opportunities for growth, recognizing that resilience is nurtured through self-compassion and self-care. Prioritize physical health. Attend to your physical well-being through regular exercise, sufficient sleep, and a nutritious diet. A healthy body fosters a healthy mind, enhancing your overall outlook and resilience. Nurture meaningful relationships. Invest in relationships that uplift and support you, fostering mutual respect, empathy, and positivity. Limit interactions with individuals who drain your energy or undermine your well-being. Extend acts of kindness. Engage in altruistic deeds, whether it's volunteering, offering assistance to a friend in need, or simply sharing a smile with a stranger. Practicing keenness not only benefits others, but also fosters a sense of fulfillment and connection within yourself. Remain adaptable and resilient. Embrace life's inevitable fluctuations with equanimity, cultivating resilience through adaptability and solution-oriented thinking. View setbacks as temporary challenges rather than insurmountable obstacles, drawing strength from your ability to navigate adversity with grace and resilience. Incorporating these habits into your daily life can empower you to cultivate a positive mindset, enabling you to confront life's trials with courage, optimism, and resilience. Remember, the journey towards positivity is not linear, but by embracing these principles, you can navigate life's journey with grace, resilience, and unwavering optimism. Lesson number two, discovering inner happiness. In the pursuit of happiness, we often seek external sources of joy and validation. However, true contentment resides within ourselves. Stoic philosophy teaches us that the key to lasting happiness lies not in fleeting moments or external circumstances, but in our own inner realm. In lesson number two, we embark on a journey to unearth the wellspring of happiness within ourselves, liberating our spirits from the shackles of dependency on external factors. Instead of tethering our happiness to transient variables such as wealth, fame, or the approval of others, we are urged to delve inward and cultivate a sense of fulfillment that transcends external validation. Central to this quest is the practice of acceptance, embracing every situation with equanimity and harnessing its lessons for personal growth, rather than lamenting circumstances beyond our control. Stoics advocate for a proactive approach, focusing on how we navigate and respond to life's ebbs and flows. Self-awareness emerges as a cornerstone of discovering inner happiness. By intimately understanding our strengths and weaknesses, we gain clarity on our intrinsic desires and values. Armed with this self-knowledge, we chart a course towards authentic fulfillment, aligning our actions with our innermost aspirations. True happiness, according to Stoic tenets, emanates from the harmonious integration of the mind and soul. It is cultivated through the practice of virtues such as kindness, patience, and gratitude qualities that nurture our inner sanctum and imbue life with profound meaning. Consider the transformation of Mike, whose pursuit of external markers of success left him perpetually unfulfilled. Upon embracing stoicism, he redirected his focus towards inner cultivation, prioritizing the development of his soul over material pursuits. Through gratitude and acceptance, Mike discovered a profound sense of contentment that transcended the fluctuations of external circumstances. To discover happiness within ourselves, we must cultivate resilience in the face of life's storms. Challenges and setbacks are inevitable, yet our response to adversity shapes our inner landscape. By mastering our thoughts and emotions, 
we forge an unshakable foundation of inner peace and serenity. Lesson number two affirms that the quest for inner happiness is a transformative journey liberated from the constraints of external contingencies. It invites us to reclaim agency over our emotional well-being, empowering us to live purposefully and authentically. As we navigate the complexities of life, anchored in our inner reservoir of contentment, we emerge emboldened to embrace each moment with grace and gratitude. Ultimately, discovering happiness within ourselves transcends the pursuit of external accolades, offering a pathway to a life imbued with profound meaning and fulfillment. Lesson number three, understanding the role of thoughts in amplifying anxiety. Epictetus's profound insight, people are not disturbed by things, but by the view they take of them, unveils a fundamental truth about the human experience. It's not the external circumstances themselves, but rather our interpretations and reactions to them that fuel stress and anxiety. In lesson number three, we delve into the intricate interplay between our thoughts and anxiety, unraveling the mechanisms through which our cognitive patterns amplify our emotional distress. In our journey through life, it's easy to become ensnared in the whirlpool of negative thinking. Questions like, why is this happening? Or, why do I feel this way? Echo in our minds, propelling us into a vortex of worry and apprehension. Stoic philosophy offers us a lifeline in the form of presence, the practice of anchoring ourselves in the present moment and directing our focus towards what lies within our sphere of control. By relinquishing futile rumination on the past or fretful anticipation of the future, we cultivate a sense of tranquility and empowerment in the here and now. Presence serves as a potent antidote to anxiety, enabling us to disentangle ourselves from the clutches of worrisome thoughts and find solace in the present moment. By channeling our energy towards positive actions and constructive thinking, we reclaim agency over our emotional landscape. Stoics remind us that the present moment is the locus of our influence and agency, urging us to embrace it fully in pursuit of inner peace. Yet, the path to mastering our thoughts and emotions is fraught with obstacles. Our cognitive patterns can inadvertently exacerbate anxiety plunging us into a cycle of distress and unease. Catastrophizing, for instance, magnifies perceived threats, inundating us with worst-case scenarios that fuel our fears. Overgeneralization distorts our perception, causing us to extrapolate one negative event into a pervasive narrative of failure and inadequacy. Mind reading, perfectionism, negative self-talk, avoidance behaviors, selective attention and rumination, further entrench us in patterns of anxiety, trapping us in a cycle of self-doubt and apprehension. Fortunately, awareness serves as a potent catalyst for change. By recognizing and interrogating these cognitive distortions, we can mitigate their impact on our emotional well-being. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, mindfulness practices, and self-compassion techniques offer valuable tools for challenging and reframing negative thoughts empowering us to regain control over our mental landscape. Mindfulness cultivates a non-judgmental awareness of our thoughts and emotions, fostering inner peace and resilience in the face of adversity. Self-compassion fosters a nurturing relationship with ourselves, counteracting the harsh inner critic that exacerbates anxiety. Cognitive behavioral techniques equip us with strategies for identifying and challenging maladaptive thought patterns empowering us to rewrite the narratives that perpetuate our anxiety. In our quest to manage anxiety, it's essential to cultivate a toolbox of coping strategies that honor the interconnectedness of mind, body, and spirit. By integrating these practices into our daily lives, we can transcend the grip of anxiety and embark on a journey towards emotional well-being and resilience. Ultimately, Lesson number three underscores the pivotal role of thoughts in shaping our emotional landscape. By cultivating awareness and employing evidence-based strategies, we can harness the power of our minds to navigate life's challenges with clarity, equanimity, and grace. As we cultivate a deeper understanding of the intricate dance between thoughts and emotions, we unlock the door to a life imbued with peace, purpose, 
and profound resilience. Lesson number four, embracing the significance of self-knowledge. As we draw upon the wisdom of Stoic philosophers to navigate the complexities of anxiety, a profound revelation emerges. The paramount importance of self-knowledge. Understanding oneself is not merely a quest for personal enlightenment. It is a gateway to inner peace and tranquility. The ancient Greek aphorism, Know Thyself, inscribed on the Temple of Apollo at Delphi, resonates with profound significance, encapsulating the essence of self-discovery. Self-knowledge encompasses a multifaceted exploration of our inner landscape, an introspective journey that illuminates our values, beliefs, strengths, weaknesses, and motivations. By delving into the depths of our being, we gain insight into the intricacies of our psyche, unraveling the tangled web of anxieties that ensnare us. When confronted with anxiety, understanding oneself becomes a potent tool for unraveling its roots. Anxiety often stems from deep-seated fears and doubts that lurk within the recesses of our consciousness. By peeling back the layers of self-awareness, we uncover the underlying triggers of our anxiety. Whether it be fear of the unknown, apprehension of failure, or the specter of judgment from others, self-awareness allows us to discern recurring patterns in our thoughts and behaviors, empowering us to confront and transcend them. Stoic philosophers espouse the notion that true happiness and virtue stem from self-examination. By cultivating a deep understanding of our desires and aversions, we gain mastery over our thoughts and actions. Aligning our aspirations with our sphere of influence liberates us from the tyranny of external events, fostering a sense of inner equilibrium amidst life's vicissitudes. To embark on the journey of self-discovery, consider these guiding steps. 1. Keep a journal. Document your thoughts, feelings, and actions in a journal, allowing insights to emerge from the pages. By reflecting on these entries, you may uncover recurring themes and patterns that illuminate facets of your inner world. 2. Seek feedback. Enlist the perspectives of trusted mentors or confidants who can offer objective insights into your character and behavior. Their feedback can provide invaluable clarity, pinpointing blind spots that elude your awareness. 3. Practice mindfulness meditation. Engage in mindfulness meditation to cultivate a non-judgmental awareness of your thoughts and emotions. By observing the ebb and flow of your inner landscape without attachment or aversion, you forge a deeper connection with your authentic self. Self-knowledge is a dynamic and ongoing journey, a lifelong pursuit that yields profound rewards. Armed with self-awareness, you gain agency over your choices shedding light on the shadows of irrational fears and insecurities that pervade your consciousness. As you unravel the complexities of your inner world, anxiety relinquishes its grip, paving the way for greater clarity, resilience, and inner harmony. In essence, self-knowledge is the cornerstone of personal empowerment, a transformative journey that transcends the confines of external validation. As you cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself, you reclaim sovereignty over your inner world, charting a course towards fulfillment and authenticity. Embrace the journey of self-discovery with courage and curiosity, for therein lies the key to unlocking the boundless potential of your being. Lesson number five, embracing pain without suffering. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the profound significance of confronting pain and suffering with resilience and equanimity. As Seneca aptly articulated, it's not that things are hard that we don't dare, it's that we don't dare that they are hard. Rather than engaging in futile resistance or succumbing to despair in the face of adversity, Stoics advocate for a deep and tranquil acceptance of pain. This principle holds profound implications for the well-being of the soul and the art of living wisely. Accepting pain entails more than mere resignation. It signifies a profound shift in our relationship with suffering. By relinquishing resistance and embracing pain with mindfulness and emotional strength, we reclaim agency over our inner landscape. This transformative process fosters inner peace and resilience, empowering us to navigate life's trials with grace and wisdom. Understanding the importance of accepting pain is pivotal for cultivating mental clarity 
and stability. Left unaddressed, unresolved pain can metastasize into chronic distress, clouding our judgment and undermining our emotional well-being. By confronting pain with equanimity, we reclaim sovereignty over our minds, fostering a sense of inner tranquility amidst life's storms. Moreover, accepting pain serves as a potent antidote to stress. Rather than expending futile energy on worrying about circumstances beyond our control, we focus our attention on cultivating a constructive response to adversity. This proactive mindset fosters resilience, enabling us to weather life's challenges with fortitude and grace. In addition to its psychological benefits, accepting pain holds profound implications for personal growth and development. By embracing pain as an inevitable facet of the human experience, we glean invaluable insights into our innermost selves. Pain becomes a crucible for transformation, offering us opportunities for self-discovery and introspection. Through the alchemy of acceptance, we emerge from the crucible of suffering stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. To cultivate the ability to accept pain without succumbing to suffering, consider the following steps. 1. Mindful Awareness Cultivate a non-judgmental awareness of your pain, observing it with curiosity and openness. Release any resistance or aversion, allowing yourself to fully experience the present moment. 2. Non-identification. Refrain from attaching your sense of self-worth solely to your pain. Recognize that pain is a transient experience, distinct from your intrinsic identity. 3. Emotional regulation. Employ techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and progressive muscle relaxation to calm your mind and body in the midst of pain. Cultivate emotional resilience, allowing yourself to experience pain without being overwhelmed by it. 4. Compassionate self-care. Extend kindness and compassion to yourself as you navigate the challenges of pain. Treat yourself with the same gentleness and understanding that you would offer to a loved one in distress. 5. Seek support. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or mental health professionals for support and guidance. Sharing your pain with others can provide solace and perspective, fostering a sense of connection and belonging. By integrating these practices into your life, you can cultivate the resilience and equanimity needed to accept pain without unnecessary suffering. Embrace pain as a catalyst for growth and transformation, trusting in your ability to navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. As you cultivate the art of acceptance, you pave the way for a life imbued with profound peace, purpose, and resilience. Lesson number six, gratitude, the true measure of wealth. Stoic philosophy offers a profound insight into the nature of wealth, asserting that true abundance transcends material possessions. As Epictetus aptly stated, wealth is not having many things, but few wants. In a society fixated on the pursuit of wealth and power, Stoicism reminds us to look beyond the superficial trappings of success and recognize the intrinsic value of gratitude. The essence of true wealth lies not in the accumulation of possessions, but in the ability to appreciate and be thankful for the blessings we already possess. In a world characterized by relentless ambition and consumerism, cultivating a spirit of gratitude becomes an antidote to the pervasive anxiety and discontent that often accompany the relentless pursuit of material wealth. However, it is essential to clarify that embracing gratitude does not entail complacency or renunciation of personal aspirations. We are entitled to pursue our goals and dreams, but it is imperative to do so with a mindful appreciation of life's inherent blessings. Gratitude serves as a guiding principle, reminding us to cherish the present moment and find contentment in the abundance that surrounds us. When we adopt an attitude of gratitude, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Rather than being consumed by insatiable desires, we find solace in the simple joys of everyday life. Gratitude fosters a profound shift in perspective, allowing us to view our circumstances through a lens of abundance rather than scarcity. 
consider the story of Alex, a young professional burdened by the pressures of work and life. Despite harboring aspirations of climbing the corporate ladder and acquiring material wealth, Alex found himself perpetually discontented and stressed. However, upon encountering the teachings of Stoic philosophy and the transformative power of gratitude, Alex underwent a profound shift in consciousness. Instead of fixating on what he lacked, Alex began to cultivate gratitude for the blessings in his life, including his current job and modest living accommodations. Through the practice of gratitude, Alex discovered a newfound sense of contentment and inner peace. His positive attitude radiated throughout his workplace, inspiring his colleagues and fostering a culture of appreciation and camaraderie. Gratitude is more than just a philosophical concept. It is a way of life that enriches our relationships, enhances our well-being, and imbues our existence with profound meaning. When we embrace gratitude as a guiding principle, we not only enhance our own lives, but also uplift those around us. By cultivating a spirit of thankfulness, we leave an indelible mark on society, contributing to a culture of compassion, generosity, and abundance. In essence, true wealth is not measured by the size of our bank accounts or the possessions we accumulate. It is found in the richness of our relationships, the depth of our experiences, and the gratitude that permeates our hearts. Let gratitude be your compass, guiding you towards a life of fulfillment, purpose, and true abundance. As you embrace the transformative power of gratitude, you will discover that the truest treasures of life are already within your grasp. Lesson number seven, seeking virtue for inner peace. A fundamental tenet of Stoic philosophy is the pursuit of virtue as a pathway to inner peace and liberation from anxiety. Ethics, according to Stoicism, holds paramount importance in this quest for tranquility. Ethics transcends mere adherence to societal norms. It encompasses the cultivation and embodiment of moral virtues such as patience, kindness, tolerance, and fairness. By aligning our actions with these virtues, we not only foster harmony within ourselves, but also contribute to the well-being of others, thereby enriching the fabric of society. Mastering our emotions is a cornerstone of ethical living. By exercising restraint over our impulses and aligning our actions with moral principles, we liberate ourselves from the grip of anxiety and tension. Instead of allowing our emotions to dictate our responses, we prioritize values and virtues that foster inner calm and equanimity. Patience emerges as a cardinal virtue in the pursuit of inner peace. In the face of adversity or challenges, patience empowers us to navigate with serenity and confidence. Rather than succumbing to feelings of overwhelm or helplessness, we approach difficulties with composure and resilience. Stoic philosophy exhorts us to confront obstacles with a calm and deliberate demeanor, trusting in our ability to overcome adversity. Seeking virtue for inner peace is not merely an intellectual pursuit. It is a transformative journey of self-discovery and growth. Virtues, often regarded as morally commendable traits, become the bedrock of our inner harmony and contentment. By embodying virtues such as gratitude, compassion, forgiveness, patience, humility, and courage, we foster a profound sense of peace and alignment with our true selves. Gratitude serves as a potent antidote to discontentment and restlessness. By shifting our focus from scarcity to abundance, we cultivate a deep sense of appreciation for the blessings in our lives. Compassion, likewise, enables us to forge meaningful connections with others and nurture a sense of interconnectedness and empathy. Forgiveness liberates us from the shackles of resentment and bitterness, allowing us to embrace a future unburdened by past grievances. Patience, humility, and self-control foster a state of inner equilibrium, enabling us to navigate life's vicissitudes with grace and resilience. Courage emboldens us to confront our fears and step beyond our comfort zones in pursuit of growth and self-realization. Integrity ensures that our actions are aligned with our values, fostering a profound sense of authenticity and inner peace. 
Ultimately, the journey of seeking virtue for inner peace demands patience, dedication, and self-awareness. By integrating these virtues into our daily lives, we cultivate a deeper sense of harmony and tranquility. As we nurture these virtues within ourselves, we become architects of our own inner peace, fostering a legacy of wisdom, compassion, and integrity. In embracing the transformative power of virtue, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and self-mastery, unlocking the boundless potential for inner peace and fulfillment that resides within each of us. Lesson number eight, the impact of judgments on anxiety. Stoic philosophy delves into the profound connection between our judgments and the level of anxiety we experience in life. Marcus Aurelius, for instance, aptly remarked, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. This insight underscores the pivotal role our perceptions play in shaping our emotional experiences. Lesson 8 underscores the significance of altering our perspective and cultivating a positive outlook. Each day we make myriad judgments and assessments, often hastily and inaccurately. These snap judgments can trigger unnecessary stress and anxiety as we allow our perceptions to dictate our emotional state. Stoic philosophy urges us to actively recalibrate our viewpoint, avoiding overvaluation and adopting a more balanced and objective stance. Central to this lesson is the recognition of the importance of mastering our thoughts. Rather than allowing negative judgments to govern our mood, we possess the agency to regulate our mental landscape. By cultivating self-awareness, we gain insight into how our judgments influence our emotions and overall mood. Through discernment and mindfulness, we can make more informed evaluations, steering clear of rash judgments that fuel anxiety. Lesson 8 imparts the wisdom that controlling our thoughts is paramount in managing anxiety. By reframing our perspective and adopting a more optimistic outlook, we can mitigate feelings of unease and find greater peace within ourselves. This process entails a deliberate effort to scrutinize our judgments, interrogating their validity, and refraining from succumbing to pessimism. In practical terms, leveraging this lesson necessitates a heightened level of self-awareness. By observing how our judgments shape our emotional responses, we empower ourselves to intervene and steer our thoughts in a more positive direction. Through conscious effort and reflection, we can cultivate a mindset characterized by equanimity and resilience, thereby mitigating the impact of anxiety on our well-being. Moreover, Lesson 8 underscores the transformative power of shifting our perspective. By reinterpreting situations in a more favorable light, we diminish their capacity to incite anxiety. Instead of dwelling on worst-case scenarios or succumbing to catastrophic thinking, we learn to adopt a more balanced and constructive approach to interpreting events. Ultimately, Lesson 8 serves as a reminder of our inherent capacity to influence our emotional experiences through the lens of our judgments. By exercising discernment and cultivating a positive outlook, we can attenuate feelings of anxiety and foster a greater sense of inner peace. Through diligent practice and introspection, we harness the transformative potential of our thoughts, reclaiming agency over our emotional well-being and embracing a more serene and balanced existence. Lesson number nine, mastering mind and body. In this lesson, we delve into a fundamental aspect of Stoic philosophy, the mastery of mind and body. The lesson commences with a profound insight from Epicurus, who asserted, we cannot control the events around us, but we can control our reactions to them. This wisdom underscores the significance of maintaining equilibrium within ourselves to navigate life's trials and tribulations effectively. Controlling the mind entails the management of our thoughts and cognitive processes. Consider the story of Sarah, who diligently engages in physical activities such as yoga and jogging to uphold her bodily health. Complementing her exercise regimen, Sarah adopts a nourishing diet comprising natural and wholesome foods, thus preserving her vitality and vitality in equilibrium. Through this conscientious approach to physical well-being, 
Sarah not only enhances her bodily health, but also cultivates a sense of balance and serenity within her mind. Consequently, she emerges as more self-assured, resilient, and equipped to confront life's challenges with equanimity and poise. The integration of mind and body is a central tenet of Stoic philosophy, underscoring the interconnectedness of our physical and mental states. By nurturing both aspects of our being, we attain a harmonious equilibrium that fosters inner peace and resilience in the face of adversity. Indeed, the holistic approach advocated by Stoicism emphasizes the importance of tending to both our mental and physical well-being to achieve a state of holistic wellness. Lesson 9 elucidates the myriad benefits of mastering mind and body. By cultivating self-discipline and self-awareness, individuals can attain a deeper sense of inner peace and tranquility. Moreover, this integration enables individuals to mitigate stress and anxiety, empowering them to confront life's challenges with fortitude and composure. Through the deliberate cultivation of mental and physical health, individuals equip themselves with the resilience and strength needed to navigate life's complexities with grace and resilience. In essence, Lesson 9 underscores the profound significance of harmonizing mind and body in fostering holistic well-being. By exercising control over our thoughts and actions, as well as nurturing our physical vitality, we lay the foundation for a life characterized by balance, resilience, and inner peace. Through the diligent practice of Stoic principles, individuals can embark on a transformative journey towards self-mastery and holistic wellness, thereby unlocking the boundless potential for growth and fulfillment within themselves. Lesson number 10. Simplify your life to reduce anxiety. Life's complexities often burden us with stress and anxiety, stemming from the multitude of responsibilities and obligations we face. In Lesson 10, we are prompted to reflect on our lives and discern what truly holds significance. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, contemplated on simplifying life, remarking, it's not that we don't have enough time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. This assertion underscores the brevity of life and urges us to direct our focus towards what truly matters, relinquishing unnecessary time and energy drains. To embrace this lesson, it is essential to take proactive steps. Firstly, identify your genuine priorities and relinquish activities or commitments that do not align with them. Streamlining your schedule involves allocating less time to email and social media, allowing room for moments of stillness and introspection. Simplification entails decluttering both your physical space and mental landscape, shedding unnecessary possessions and distractions to hone in on life's essentials. Another facet of simplification involves restructuring your commitments to foster rest and rejuvenation. By prioritizing self-care and setting boundaries, you create space for tranquility amidst life's hustle and bustle. Incorporating meditation into your routine serves as a powerful tool for cleansing the mind and cultivating inner peace, thereby enhancing resilience in the face of stressors. Consider the narrative of someone entrenched in a demanding work routine, struggling to maintain control amidst mounting pressures. Applying Lesson 10 empowers individuals to reassess their priorities, scale back on non-essential commitments, and reclaim agency over their time and energy. By prioritizing personal well-being and nurturing meaningful connections, individuals experience a palpable reduction in stress levels and a heightened sense of fulfillment. Simplifying your life is a multifaceted endeavor, encompassing various strategies to alleviate stress and foster well-being. Decluttering physical spaces fosters mental clarity, while establishing routines instills a sense of structure and stability. Cultivating gratitude and mindfulness promotes a shift in perspective, enabling individuals to find contentment amidst life's complexities. Remember, simplifying your life is a gradual process that requires patience and commitment. Start by addressing one area at a time, gradually integrating additional strategies to streamline your lifestyle. By embodying the principles of Stoic philosophy and embracing simplicity, 
you embark on a journey towards greater peace and wisdom. Conclusion. Congratulations on completing our journey through the 10 lessons aimed at mastering anxiety. Your dedication to personal growth and learning is commendable, reflecting a steadfast commitment to self-improvement. Remember, Stoic philosophy is not merely theoretical. It is a guide to living a fulfilling and purposeful life. As you navigate life's challenges, continually ask yourself how you can apply Stoic principles to your daily existence. Embrace simplicity, cultivate resilience, and prioritize your well-being as you strive towards inner peace and fulfillment. Share your insights and experiences with others, spreading the wisdom of Stoicism to enrich their lives as well. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey of discovery and enlightenment. Stay steadfast and resolute, embodying the resilience and fortitude of a true Stoic. Until we meet again, farewell.